Oh, hi, Grady. Hi, Grady. Hi, we're here to talk about me, right? Yeah, we got some good news today. His heart murmur is benign. According Yay! To, according to an incredibly expensive echocardiogram. Yeah. Like, I don't regret, I, you know, you have to take care of him, but it is yeah. really, it's a lot of money to say, no, nah, he's fine. Yeah. But I'm glad he's fine. I'm glad his little ticker is going to keep on ticking. You just have to look after, you know, the renal failure stuff, but it seems to be okay. Yeah. He's not acting, I mean, look at him. He's not acting much different. He is, he is Grady. He is floof. Look at that face. That face. You're very pleased with yourself. And now yeah. you're, you're dead weight. Yep, that's 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 what I came down here to do. You're not super helpful, buddy. Let's Look at the boy. Let's just do half an hour of this. Forget the whole thing. Like, yeah, that that's that. You know, I'm about on board with you on that. Look at this boy. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Thank you. Do not disturb. You have given me a big old scare this past week, I swear. A cat should not be this much stress. You, sh you should not be this much stress. Dan is in a bit of a fight with two of our cats today because he still has a lot of post-surgery pain, and they said he will for like a year. Yeah. Because they carved out a third of his digestive tract, you know? So, and he has some scar tissue that hurts. And today, just Peggy and Simba, they both just want to be sitting on him. And they both have managed to stomp with their full body weight on that, like, two inch by two inch square yep. where it's the worst. So. Um, the like, new kitten, you know. The new, the new kitten has stolen my medication. <gasps> oh, no. We can't find it. She has the habit of, of just picking stuff up in her mouth and walking away with it. And then just leaving it places. Um, especially things that make that make noise. They rattle. That, that's fun. Oh my god. So she's she's so she want my meds are somewhere in the house. We don't know where. Kind of need those. <laughs> yeah, we kind of do. Each week, Catherine. Yeah. Radio Dead Air audience go on the worldwide interwebs. Bring back all sorts of horrible stuff from the segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And um, this week th is Dear Pet House, I can't believe this happened to me. Um, so, for all of the years I've been doing this, very rarely has this stuff ever been, in I've ever encountered this shit in the wild until this past Saturday. I was out at the airport picking up uh, Sarah. She came back from visiting her mom. And uh, I was in the cell phone parking lot. And I looked over and I saw this, this vehicle just sitting there. And uh, they, they got the, the uh, license plate on that. And I had to take a moment to examine that license plate. Because it... Uh, it don't look right. People at home are trying to you're you're trying to watch it on the stream. You're trying to watch it on on YouTube. You're like, what? What is it? Well, computer enhance. Let's get a little closer. <laughs> um, are you starting to notice the problem yet? Are you there? Are you on board? Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Are you there? Um, not professional. Let Let's get a little closer. Um, and uh, uh, no, not there. Not, not there, there. Um, let's uh, make that a little bit bigger. Um, that is, folks, that is a laser printed license plate. There's uh, there's no registration tag, and it's too. Hmm. It's New York. Yeah. But that's not the correct New York. That's not even the correct one for their 
personalized. Yeah, that's license. not even the current New York license plate. <laughs> um, you can tell it's been sun faded and wrinkled, which is not a thing aluminum does. No. Um. It uh, and I even the font is wrong. Uh, that is someone who who went on Google, downloads Googled license plate font, and downloaded the first free one, and they cobbled together. I could not. I had to stop and take this picture. I could not believe. Look, just looking at it. Is it Rudy Dread? I think. Or Rudy D Red. I don't know. Like Rudy the Red. I don't know. All I know is I don't like it when vanity plates make me work that hard. This is not what they mean by personalization. No. Y- you got to pay for it. And and they give you one made of metal with the words stamped into it and little stickers on either side that say this is legal for a year. Real. Yeah, the real one. This is not real. This is this is I don't I don't ever want to like if you want to pay extra for vanity plates that's cool i don't see the point of paying extra for it but i just don't like it when they make me work too hard <laughs> i don't want to be working out a fucking wordle in the passing lane well okay but this isn't even a real one right kind of i can't i just can't believe i looked over and i'm like wow how many times have we covered this <laughs> And yeah, here it, it just leapt the fuck out at me, and I'm like, "Listen, if you were gonna come across one of our stories in the wild, at least it wasn't like a naked person covered in motor oil or something." Someday. By the way, a little thing. I know you don't read the YouTube comments, but I do. Um, and I just need our audience to know: unless you have had some major surgery, you too have a urethra that was amazing um last There's week someone we had out there the, that doesn't know that they also have a urethra men and women both have a urethra yeah we, we have every no matter what gender you are you have a urethra or you can't pee last week we had the the woman who somehow shoved a shot glass all the way up her urethra very upsetting. into the bladder and yeah. someone commented I'm glad I don't have a urethra. And my thought was, well, you shouldn't be, because yeah. you, if you <laughs> don't, you have a problem. Your uh, life is very hard if you don't have a urethra. Yeah, you, 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 pre- you, you, you kind of need one. Or you're having... No, I'm sh- like, or you have a catheter. Because things can go wrong with your urethra, and they might have to, I don't know if they can take it out, but, you know, they can take out a third of your digestive tract and put a whole new most exit on your stomach. Most of us come into the world with a urethra standard, okay? Yes. You don't get the air conditioning, you don't get the no. radio, you don't get the CD player, you don't even get the cup holder, but you come in with the urethra. That's like basic So I package. just, in, in our educational capacity, I just want you to know... That you probably have a urethra. You got the urethra, you got the undercoat. That's... Yeah. All right. Let's get into the the news. This is from New Jersey. Um, This motherfucker. I have often thought I'd like to get... I'd like to run for office for something, but then I look at my life and I'm like, well, I've done vampire LARP. And I'm a YouTuber. Like just a simple Google search bringing this up. And I neither stream. of us is ever getting into politics. Yeah. And I think there's no way. But then, then I see got people like this dude. New Jersey mayor pocketed money from auctions of borough property. Authorities let. That's bad enough. But let's get into the actual story. Ocean County Major was charged Friday with stealing money gained from government auctions and selling borough office furniture on social media. Ocean Gate Mayor Paul Kennedy, 66, was released from custody on a summons after being charged with official misconduct and theft. 
The investigation revealed that Kennedy, in his capacity as mayor, failed to turn over proceeds from the sale of borough apps, assets, sold by way of the government auction site GovDeals.com, and instead took uh, possession of those proceeds for his own personal benefit. Mayor is accused of failing to deposit borough parking meter funds in the borough bank account and selling borough office furniture through a private Facebook marketplace account while trying to keep the money for himself. Motherfucker is literally just, hey, you see this desk? You want this desk? You can have this desk. $20. You got this desk? I got to get this. Take the desk. Come get it. Just strip mining the city for cash. The fucking office furniture. Oh. He's selling the fucking count city office furniture on fucking Facebook. So, like, what happens on Monday when the comptroller's assistant comes in and doesn't have a fucking desk? What do you say happened? I mean, it's you. What are you going to do? Run? Are you going to go on the <laughs> lamb with the thirty dollars you got from selling the, the folding chairs in the break room? I mean, it sounds like it would add up. All the parking meter money. <sighs> that's 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 some brass ones, even for Jersey. I, There's only two thousand people in the town. Yeah, I don't know how he thought this was going to be. He was going to be. Oh, this will be fine. I'll get away with it. Who's going to care, right? Who's gonna care? Who's gonna know? Who's gonna, who's gonna who's gonna put it's it? one little desk. I put it on a private Facebook account. Who's gonna find it there? Exactly. They have to have Criminal a pass mastermind here. Yeah, Jesus. <sighs> so someone elected this guy. I might have a shot. It's true. We might be in better grace than we thought. All right, let's move, scary. let's move over to Spain for this one. Um, I, I thought this whole sovereign citizen bullshit was an American phenomena. Yeah. Well, apparently it's gone international. Spanish driver who ate hash cakes. We're not talking about hash browns. We're, we're talking about a different thing. Just so you know. Uh, claims diplomatic immunity from non-existent state. Man arrested after driving erratically fails to convince officers over ID from, quote, wandering republic of yours truly. Spanish man who had eaten hash cakes before he's pulled over by police for driving erratically. Been fined uh, over 1,600 euros for failing to convince officers he had immunity because he was a diplomat for a, quote, individual and mobile republic. Earlier this month, officers in the northern Spanish region of La Rioja. La Rioja? Oh, God, I can't say this. Rioja? Is Rioja? Uh, would be my guess. Rioja? I'm very white and I'm terrible and I'm sorry. Ordered the 28 year old to pull over after noticing that his Volkswagen Golf was zigzagging across the road and he was on his phone. Down on the Surrey with the fringe on top. <laughs> Once the vehicle had been intercepted, officers asked the driver for his identity documents, to which he responded by showing a license card and ID card from the Republic Errante Menda Larenda, Wandering Republic of Yours Truly. He made his own driver's license? Although the Republic bills itself online as a, quote, individual and mobile sovereignty recognized by other states capable of acting with complete independence and strict compliance with international law. The officers were not impressed by his document or his claims of diplomatic immunity. Driver ignored repeated requests to show credible identification and began to show officers a lack of respect. <laughs> he claimed to have immunity on the grounds he was a member of the sovereign diplomatic service of the aforementioned Republic. After being subject to a drug test, the man tested positive for TSC, uh, THC, uh, and told the officers it was due to marijuana madeleines that he had eaten. Madeline? Further check revealed... Would ruin the texture. <laughs> Have you ever had a Madeline? 
I have not, no. They're supposed to be very light and cakey and airy. And I feel like adding pot would make them too dense. That wouldn't work. That doesn't make sense. I, Don't like that. The Republic of Yours Truly, according to its website, is a micronation officially proclaimed in 1999 that defines an individual person as an independent republic in themselves and recognizes their national territory as the space they occupy, quote, at each moment. Yeah, that doesn't work. Just because this like is a thing. It's not like just him. Yeah, it, it, a website. It, 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 oh, I got a website. They said it's legal. They said they're internationally recognized. Yeah, no. 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 That's. You can't just declare yourself a country. You know those websites where they're like, hey, you can name a star and we'll send you a yeah. document that said you named a star. It's your star. We're the star authority. We can do that. Well, the thing that tells me that pull this shit is, can you imagine a world where every, like, it very much depends on everybody else covering for you? Because if everybody did this, it would be fucking chaos. Well, no, everyone. Like, I know none of us. I know none of us are super keen on the government, but you need those. No, Terry, you don't understand. It's all about him, though. Yeah. Okay. It, but but that's like libertarians, all these people. I look forward yeah. to your comments. But it all depends on everyone else, like you being the very, very special snowflake that can do whatever you want. Yes. While everybody else follows the rules to cover your ass. Yes, exactly. That's that's like three year old. Lo Actually, three year olds have better logic than that. That's cat logic. Yeah. Next up, Alabama. This is another. I really don't know how you thought this plan was going to work, my my dude. I I it's like so many of these plans we see. It's like I've got the broad points, and I'll iron out iron out the details later. Um. So this is from Alabama. Weighty case. Oh, the AP is trying. AT, AP is very trying because they've gotten NFTs. Um, Alabama man charged in theft of seventy ton crane, and this is not a small vehicle, as you can see here. Um, no, that's a big one. Alabama man who called a wrecker service asking to have a seventy ton crane pulled out of the woods is now charged with stealing the heavy machinery. Member of a towing service contacted the Chilton County Sheriff's Office on Monday, saying the man had called, claiming someone gave him the crane, and he wanted it removed so he could sell it for scrap. Wrecker service. You just, you just believed him. <laughs> The record service owner recalled moving the same crane a few years ago before and contacted his owner, who denied having okay. given it away. The towing operator okay. then called law enforcement. The man who wanted the crane moved, fled before officers arrived, driving the rig into a ditch where it became stuck. 26 year old Clinton man was arrested Tuesday on a probation violation. And first degree theft charges. 26. What the f were you going to do with this thing? For records that include the name of a defense attorney. I'm kidding. I see. I would. What do you need it for? Probably to, like you said, he was going to probably sell it for scrap. Hmm. Like it's like. Yeah, I was concerned because, like, every time I've had to have my car towed, I need to show proof that I own that motherfucker. Right. That's an important part of the process. Right. They're not just going to tow anything you point at because <laughs> that's how they get sued. <laughs> I love it. Like his entire plan was, dude, trust me. Right. They're they're not going to do that. That was the entire that was the entire basis of the scam. It was it, it all hinged on, yo, it's it's cool. Trust me, bro. It's cool. That that was it. That's the, the whole the whole basis of everything. <laughs> Like, if you were going to sell it, you would, again, have to prove that you owned it. Well. I mean, something that big. 
Yeah, well, you'd think. Like, I feel like they're going to at least want to see some paperwork on that. I like, maybe, maybe. All right, we'll give you a hundred bucks for it. Okay. Unless it's you all bring it down money. to like, right. Unless you bring it down to like Vin Diesel's garage. <laughs> I've never seen a Fast and Furious movie, but I assume somebody owns a chop shop. I don't know. They, they, they're going, they went into space, so. Chick got a little weird. What? Uh, yes. Yes. You, seriously? Yes, I'm not kidding. Yes. I'm not kidding. Look up the film series. Shit gets weird. All right, let's talk about TikTok. There's one I follow. She is in uh, the Ukraine, and she's in the middle of all the war and whatnot. And I, and she's like a twenty-something college student with her parents, and like you know, living in a bomb shelter. And I follow, and she's doing good shit, just trying to show you know what the war is like. That's the one end of the TikToking. And then we have motherfuckers like this guy. And I feel like, you know, it's hard to say maybe it's a mistake. This TikTok was a mistake. Uh, we've got video because, of course, we do. Um, because, Talk. yeah. <sighs> yeah, there's currently a TikTok trend where people just over a specific piece of music talk about how they would take you out on a date and murder you. It's men, not pe men. Reward offer for information on driver who jumped Tesla in Echo Park. Now you're thinking to yourself, did he jump over a Tesla? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, my friend. Here we go. Now it's San Francisco, so of course, if you're not familiar, the roads go up and the roads go down. This fellow found a road that goes up. Oh, there we go, and crash, and kablam, and oh no. Oh, we the thing from the sabotage video. Except, did it very wrong. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, well, what's wrong with that? He wrecked his car. That's the hitch. Um, the LAPD said the driver of a rented 2018 Tesla Model S, which was originally identified as a Tesla S BLM. Oh, well, that's of course they did. Performed a dangerous stunt near the intersection of Baxter and Alvarado streets. Video shows the Tesla headed toward the intersection as a high rate of speed when it suddenly catches air and then comes down hard on its front wheels. The vehicle crashed into several trash cans and two pot cars. The driver of the Tesla abandoned the car and fled the scene. No description of the driver was released by police, though on Sunday evening, they said they received more than 50 tips as to the driver's identity. Over 90% of the tips are the same person who has a TikTok handle of uh, Dominquez or Duarte Do Duarte Dom on Twitter. Hard to, I don't do whatever. He is considered a point person of interest based on public postings on his account. <sighs> Meaning so. he probably put up a video being like, let's see what happens if I crash this Tesla. Don't worry, it's not mine. I think I I don't think he was trying to cash it. I think he thought yeah. he had the power. He had the touch. When all hell's breaking loose, he'd be right in the eye of the storm. He thought he could jump it. And he would land a Fonzie style. Like this could But be he wasn't confident enough to try it in his own car. No, he didn't have the no, he didn't have the, the well, you don't do it in your own car because what was he fucking driving? Like, you know, a fucking uh, minivan? Like like a, <laughs> like a fucking like 87 Windstar or some shit. <laughs> no. He had to do it in a Tesla because, of course, you're going to do it. That's how you get the views on the TikToks with a Tesla. Now, he didn't own the Tesla. That's only a minor hitch. You know, that's technicality. 
He fi- I, I know this motherfucker figured, no, no, I got this. It's cool. This is probably one of those people that's like a millionaire based off being a TikToker, which I still don't understand. And I am on TikTok. Yeah. I don't understand how people are millionaires off TikTok. But I am old. This it, is. <sighs> this is just the, 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 the sheer. No, I got this. I can do this is someone who watched the Ferris Bueller. And saw them when they stole the car and thought, oh, no, I can do this. They'll never know. How are they ever going to know? There this be- is David Dobrik's rapist friend. Well, I don't know who David Dobrik is, but that is a terrible update that they might be giant song. <laughs> um, yeah, it's. They're looking for him now because you rented the car. They've got your info, shit. Thing like even if you flee the scene, um, when you rent a car, they take things like your ID, your credit yeah. card. Yeah. And if you happen to be like a famous internet person, they're gonna find you pretty. You filmed it. You it's just we call that evidence. Yeah. Speaking of filming things and someone who really wishes they hadn't, um, we're going back to Florida for this one. Those security cams come in handy sometimes. You, you got someone, if someone commits a crime, you, you've got a way around your house to, to, to show, hey, officer, this, this person. But then again, maybe you don't want a memory of certain particular crimes. Uh, Florida man will not be winning 2022 Neighbor of the Year Award. For unknown reasons, Kenneth Clark Kyle, 64, walked fully naked up the driveway of his next door neighbor and proceeded to defecate atop a glass table on the victim's porch. Carlisle, seeing it right, was arrested Friday afternoon for criminal mischief and booked into the county jail on the misdemeanor charge. That seems like pooping on someone else's property, pooping on someone else's things, seems like it should be more than a misdemeanor. Ah. Cops, Carlisle say, was captured relieving himself in broad daylight on two separate angles of the victim's home security footage. Oh, so they can like put a mo- they can put like a, a professionally edited film together, with, like <laughs> different angles of that shit. They can have cuts and everything. Yay! Oh, now you now your video is getting really white, blown out. Oh yeah, look at that. Let me see if I can. Yeah, you've got a for lock- some reason that. You got to lock your white balance. I don't know how to do that. It's in, your, it's in the webcam settings. Anyway. Um, <sighs> officers arrived at the Clearwater crime scene. Carlisle was spoken to through the door of his RV camper, and he was still visibly naked and highly uncooperative. <laughs> that sounds like someone's epitaph there. Visibly naked, highly uncooperative. <laughs> Oh, that's Bobby, all right. Uh, Bottom, the criminal, criminal mischief rap is $250, but Carlisle remains behind bars since he is already facing several criminal charges stemming from a December arrest. Carlisle was busted for drunk driving while discharging multiple firearms into a lake near his residence. Pretty pleased Carlisle fired the guns while seated in his car. Subsequent police search covered multiple shell casings casings, uh, scattered around the vehicle, charged with DUI, a misdemeanor, and two felony firearm counts. Uh, Carlisle had been free on $11,500 bond. So you were already under arrest. They bonded your ass out for over 10 grand, and you decided, you know what? I think it's an important risk for me to go and poop on my neighbor's table. I think this is important. <laughs> I think I need to do this. Uh, person that gets drunk and shoots guns into a lake for fun? Maybe that seems reasonable. <laughs> is, how could... You couldn't pay me. You literally could not pay me. To go out in public and shit on someone else's stuff. 
You could not get me that drunk. I'm I'm not. I think of a neighbor that had to deal with that, by the way. First, what you do is you get the hose out and you just hose everything down. And then but you then go, poop all over your porch. And then you go get the bleach and you just sort of chug bottles at your front porch. Just coat everything. Leave nothing alive. Just for me because I have I have feral cats. <laughs> we want to burn their little paws. Luckily, I don't have neighbors who poop on things. Like I, I, yeah, I can honestly. How do you get to sixty four, and you still have the, the part of your brain is going? The appropriate response is to take a shit on their things. <laughs> To just poop on their porch table. Like most people lose that at like about three, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. that, that there's a little voice in your head says the appropriate response is to poop on that. And by the time you're four, you're sitting there going, wait a second, I don't trust you anymore. Yeah, it's pretty much never the appropriate response. But meanwhile, there's this dude like, you're right, voice in my head. I should poop on that. That'll show them. You're making a lot of sense. I like you. But wait, what's wrong? What what can get more worse? Well, it's still Florida. Um, this is. I don't. Why well, I? I have no intro for this. I I. Florida man arrested for masturbating with pickle on private property. And of course, the very first line of the story, one Florida man found himself in a pickle. Well, no, Jamie, Jamie Gantz, the New York Daily News, he did not find himself in a pickle. He found a pickle in himself. Oh. He was arrested for masturbating on private property, which included inserting a pickle. Eric uh, Detage, 47, of Tampa, was charged Sunday with exposure of sexual organs for the unappetizing display. Arresting officer at the time reported uh, responded to reports of a suspicious person. He ultimately found Detage on private premises, quote, lying flat on his back, no pants or undergarments on his bottom half. Detej, according to the affidavit, had his penis in one hand and a large, uneaten pickle in his other hand. Okay, first of all, officer, if he had eaten the pickle, he wouldn't have the pickle. There are only two states a pickle can be in, eaten <laughs> or uneaten. I mean, I guess it could have, like, one bite out of it. That would be partially eaten. True. Not uneaten. My question is, I don't really like pickles. <laughs> Whenever we eat somewhere and they give me a pickle, what? I give it to my husband because I don't like them. So I'm not an expert on pickles. Uh -huh. I just want to open with that. Okay. But as I understand it, in the limited pickles that I have handled, they're kind of floppy. No. No, you you get a, a a good kosher dill pickle, but that's it's 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 not very floppy. It's it's see the ones you're thinking about is is the pickle spears, those kind of uh, yeah. But when it's still an intact pickle, it's fairly solid. Um, it's got some crunch to it. Okay, it's not quite still in cu cucumber land, but it's still got only it's coated in juices now. Right. So you're shoving vinegar up your ass, which I'm sure feels great. I just met son, do you know you have a pickle up your ass? I just wanted to check. That, but that was my question is how do you not first of all, like, is it solid enough to go? Oh, yeah. But also I feel like you run a high risk of breakage. Yes, you do. Because it's it is while it is intact enough for insertion insertion it has lost some of its structural integrity exactly in the process of becoming a pickle so it's going to give way much more easily than say 
a raw cucumber. So you're going to be that guy at the ER with half a pickle up his ass. Half a pickle. Oh, Flutter Nutter. The sex is pretty good. One small problem. You forgot the pickle. Peter Piper penetrated. <laughs> no. Peter Piper picked a penis while penetrating himself with a pickle? No. This, you, you can't. Tara, you had the chance to veer off, but you just you kept on. <laughs> I feel like I could do better with that. I feel like I could get more peas in there. Transwarp says this is another form of veggie tale. Yeah, this I, this one wasn't on the show. I don't think Jesus would be into this one. That show always confused me because someone decided they were going to make a Christian cartoon show and their idea was talking vegetables. And, like, I'm sure Jesus wants you to eat your vegetables. I just don't know how we made that connection. There, there's this esoteric, uh, esoteric, existential crisis of realizing as you're a child, you watch Vezzy Tales, you watch vegetables pray to Jesus Christ to save their souls. And then it's dinner time. And you Wait, have. Wait, did a, they do that? Yeah. And then you have a, you have a tomato on your plate. And you've just been watching Veggie Tales, and and this tomato had a soul, and you've seen that they the vegetables literally pray. Yes, the vegetables. Pray. That must fuck up the vegan some. <laughs> <fierce. laughs> I mean, I feel like the Venn diagram of vegans and Christians doesn't connect mostly, or the connection is small. I could be wrong. And no, we're, we're anyway. not we're not going with the brick and Morty because I think everybody here in the fucking planet is sick of that pickle Rick bullshit. You, you, stop. No one wants to hear the, the fucking words pickle Rick ever the fuck again. You're unwelcome. What? I, I don't know what it means. Good. Don't don't worry. So so yeah, the 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 first uh, the fir why the fuck? I learned you can penetrate with a pickle. You learned you can yes, you've learned you can shove a pickle up your ass. I'm not going to test it. Oh, all I know is if you've reached the age of forty seven, you find yourself naked in someone else's property with a pickle up your ass and a dick in your other hand. You've got to reevaluate some shit. And that's look, I'm 35. <laughs> that's and a, I, I, can't, I can't see it. That's a very specific circumstance you found yourself in. That really should be a turning point for you. you re, yeah, that that should, I, I don't know how you got to there to 47. You should have turned way before that. Is this a new verse of Yankee Doodle? <laughs> Stuck a pickle in his ass. We call him. <laughs> We've learned that no situation in your adult life will be improved by shitting on something. Now, I know you're sitting there in your YouTube comments going, well, what about? And I want you to stop and think to yourself, you are consciously running through scenarios in your mind in which shitting on things will help just to be a contrarian prick. Need to be pedantic that much. What are you doing with yourself? Really? And I someone's really. going to be like, but Tara likes hippos mm. and hippos shit on things. And yes, they do to assert their territory. But we are not hippos. And I, I will also argue that by sh hippos shitting on things don't really help the situation very much. They think it does, but it doesn't. Yeah. We've learned if you're going to attempt stuff on the TikTok, you, you, there are two types of TikTokers. There are the ones that are trying to make the world better and the others who are fucking up people's cars. Because... Fucking idiot. Do the dances. Just do the fuck. 
you, if, no one's going to arrest you for doing the dances unless you're fucking naked. Right. This, this one's going to come. True. Out. You got to keep your fucking pants. Anyway, um, we've learned you can't just ask them to tow whatever. They, no. are, they are going to make some inquiries right. before they hook the fucker up. They want to know you own it. We have learned you can't just say you are. No man is an island. Quite literally. No man. You can't just say, no, no. Here's the official card saying I can do whatever I want. There is no do whatever you want card. You can't just print out something that says do whatever you want. You have to steal billions of dollars from society first. Then you can do whatever you want. Put exactly. in the work. Um. And finally, we've learned, you know, if this motherfucker can sell all the furniture in City Hall, I might have a shot in politics. You know, I. It seems like the yeah. bar is pretty low. The bar has really sunk to the f to the sea floor. I was going to say the floor, but that's not low enough. Uh -huh. I think it has sunk to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. So maybe you and I got a shot. I maybe. maybe I could be president. I mean, we couldn't do a worse job. 